This is Normal Nerds Podcast, where two very normal dudes talk about very nerdy stuff. And what else do they like talking about? I'm your host, Maxwell Sucio. And I'm your host, who thinks you can just swim in a swimming pool if you want to do it, Davis Bates. This episode, we're going to be finishing up the recap of ZOM 100. So sit back, relax, and welcome to the Normal Nerds Podcast. All right, Davis. Yo. Psalm 100 came back. But yeah, and finished up for this season. Which is nice. Yeah. It was but nice also not nice. I yeah, know, yeah. Kind of wish it was uh, going to be around a lot longer. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. But they set up for a second season, so, they you know. They definitely it'll be did. 100% of so They years. introduced, like, a bunch, a bunch of, of characters. characters we've never seen yeah. before. Yeah. So, I was really pumped to see it. I was really pumped about that. So, that was really good. Um, That was really good to have. By the way, we got to sign up. Look at that. Super yeah, cool. sign up. Uh, Thanks again, anyways. Camilla. Yeah, thank you. Um, Anyways. Yeah, no, but great like last three episodes they released it on christmas took us over a week to watch it but you know we got we got it done holidays 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 holidays, holidays. we got it done um and yeah it was really 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 good yeah it was a great little ending to it too yeah and we said you know we were reviewing it so we finished the review just like that's true that's true that's true as we hunt new anime yeah these last uh those last three episodes were just classics on 100 they were they really were uh, uh, the yeah. thing I want to talk about first, though, just because it's a, just we're going to be talking about three episodes, so it's going to be all over the place. Yeah, we're going to bounce around. Oh, by the way, um, just a little, uh, if you're listening to this episode and you're wondering why we didn't talk about it, you all right over there? I don't know. You <laughs> might look at it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, um, if we didn't talk about it, somehow in the 45-minute episode recap of Jujutsu Kaisen, we didn't talk about the ending with the five rules at the school government put out oh a bunch of dorks <laughs> i don't know how dorks. we missed that because there's so much going on there's so much to talk about bunch of dorks bunch of dorks being stupid it's like ooh, gojo satoru finally we got rid of him so now we can do whatever we want it's literally yeah. it's literally like these like dorks actual dorks that of the jujutsu kaisen world that are just like well now that the people who actually get stuff done are gone we can be here yeah and let's we're never go pants. we're the heroes now yeah idiots um i thought about it the other like I was like, wow, we did not bring that up. We no, talked for we 45 minutes about Jujutsu Ju- 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 That never came up. That's really funny. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this will... He summed it up perfectly. David summed it up perfectly. That's dorks. what we would have said. Dorks, losers, um, mm-hmm. jerks. Uh, but this isn't a Jujutsu Kaisen podcast, even though sometimes it may feel like it. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. I wish there was enough content in the world for that. <laughs> that means if you have to read the manga, which, man. I'm not doing that. No. I'm sorry. Like, I like the fights. Yeah, I know. It's like, with shonen anime... Maybe old school shonen anime, you could have read the manga. Oh, you probably got, yeah, you probably could have gotten away with Yu Hakusho. Yeah, Yu Hakusho, like even like original Naruto. Definitely, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the only really like epic Naruto fight is one. It, all the fourth, a lot of fourth grade Ninja War ones are epic. Yeah. Uh, but like, um, is like him versus Pain, like artistically wise. Yeah, when they went for the good animation, or him when yeah. they fight, Sa- fight Sasuke the first time. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the final battle, yeah, final yeah, battle. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, Zaman Hundred. <laughs> It's a great it's anime. A great it's a really great anime. anime. Uh, I, I wish they weren't plagued with so many problems because this is a great anime. Uh, yeah, it really is. Uh, what I want to talk about first is first. those people suck. And I love how they did their backgrounds for those four people. Oh, my God. And they just sucked. Yeah. And everyone who just said, like, you're idiots. Yeah. You're dumb for doing this. And you all got turned into zombies, which was sick. Great. It was so, that was, it was poetic. It was poetic. Um, the one girl was like, everyone's dumb and I'm always right. And she's like, why was everyone talking behind my back? I was like, cause you were a bitch. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Classic woman shit. And I was like, oh, and people aren't doing what I say in the office. Oh, well, clearly they're at fault. How dare they? Yeah. I was like, also, right. also, also that asshole used a power tool to destroy those sick freaking blades. The German know, girl had. I, know. I was like, no, I really yeah. liked the swingy pole sword whatever yeah whatever called. that's called i don't know that's, that that's a word i don't know what it is i'm not we have I'm guns not, yeah we have guns yeah. <laughs> true and then she uh, messed up her, her, her sword it's like ah oh. yeah that it, she was just, yeah which also like not to be like it's an anime and they're fighting zombies but i'm like hedge clippers i don't really think they'd be doing too much to, not hedge clippers um the things she uses head, tri- head trimmers head trimmers yeah yeah i'm like you can't seem like, doing too much damage no <laughs> i feel like i feel like one thing with i think at the very least the sword would like get in there and mess it up a bit like it's it's metal on metal i don't know it was but weird it was weird she and then i like the guy well i don't like the guy but the guy who was trying to kiss i can't remember her name it's like sheen shinazu or whatever yeah the other girl there's beatrice that one's easy uh, oh yeah that's a beatrix yeah, 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 yeah that one's easy b uh but the main girl uh when he's like trying to kiss her and then he gets his backstory he's just a lazy he's a lazy fuck jackass burn down a business i know and then like 
what blame them. He's like, well, I, yeah. told, I told him they should have had asterisks. Well, least everyone else had a job just like me. You know what like, I hate what about that guy? Is we know, like, I know, like, people in the office that are like that. Oh, really? Where they're like, they're just like, oh, this is so unfair and all oh. this kind of stuff because they're just lazy. Yeah. Like, we, I've known people like that too, yeah. Like, we recently, like, my office, like, because of all of, you know, boomers running city uh, and Gen Xers. Gen Xers are trying to get on my nerves too. But, really? um, yeah, because they like. I don't have any problems with them. Well, it's just like they, they're like coming at us. Oh, they're doing that thing. Yeah. Like, why is everyone against millennials? I what don't know. What is that? What was this propaganda that came out when we were in, when I was in high school? Yeah. The millennials were like evil and the worst generation ever. It's I like don't know. we are just trying to buy a house, guys. And like That's I all wanna, I want. That's I wanna, all I want. I want to be buddy buddies with like Gen Z too. At first, I was like, I was like, guys, we can do it. We can we can change the. Thing. And then Gen Z was like, what are you guys so into Harry Potter? And you're like, dude, what is this? Why are you hating on us too? Not to throw like fuel on that fire, but I know. No, I wanted they to. They don't s- get their humor. Gen Z has great humor. Uh, I get some. I get. There's probably a good portion I get, but then they, they do some, there's ones where you're just like, they're just like they're the kids are just acting out emojis or something like that. Oh, that's stupid. That's I don't stupid, understand yeah. that, but they get like so many views, like so many views. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. There's just. I think there's like a vein of Gen Zers that I'm cool with. Like, no, I'm a little bit of Gen Zers, but uh, that I like. Um. And then there's a vein that are like a bunch of furries and weirdos, and I'm like, I don't. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not great. I don't. I feel. I feel it's a bigger vein than was with millennials. I. I. I, A bigger vein. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. Oh definitely. definitely. Oh definitely. But I think it's like I think it's more commonplace there. I well like before like this is like me like Gen Z wasn't even like a thing yet like Gen Z was like just young 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 kids yeah like like they weren't even doing anything yet and I was like and that's what I was like we need to be the change in the world we need to stop I. Think and like I do it at times, not specifically like I'm like these younger kids. I'm just like these How freaking. Just kids? I'm like these freaking weirdos doing weird stuff. Yeah. But like, is like every generation ever just like craps on the generation after them for some odd. Like I hate when there's like new music or something. Yeah. Or like just some different style, and like you can make fun of it, and you're just like these kids don't get it, and it's like we didn't get it either. Like, yeah. nobody looks back at their high school pictures and goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was there. looking great. Nailed it there. What was, I, it, what was the outfit you said you used to, the thing you, you used to wear that you, like, hated, like, that it, you, was it a, it wasn't a fedora. I, I, uh, I did wear fedoras. <laughs> <laughs> no, Davis. It was uh, bad. No, I, I, I wore a bucket hat. I had Joe Bro, a Joe, Jonas Brothers vest. That's what I wore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you had a bucket hat. That's a bucket what hat that I wore year round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd walk home in blizzards and that thing. And I was like, oh, I was so stupid. Oh, my oh. God. My old pictures, I just want to, like, what? I had to shake. Shake yeah, you. Yeah. I want to shake you so bad. So, oh, my God, this went all over the place. But uh, yeah. boomers, like, run city, whatever. So, like, we work hybrid schedules. Mm-hmm. And now they change it just so that, like, usually city has for, like, a year and a half. And, like, you have to be in the office three days a week. Yeah. And a lot of departments are just like, eh, and then our department was like, all right. And they made like a deal pretty much. They're like, okay, two days a week in the office. And then another week, every other week, you're three days in. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And I was like, of course, I work every day in the office right now. I'm not actually yeah. hybrid. But One so day. many kids came back in like for like their three days and threw a fit. There's like, are you serious? Like I have to be. I'm like, dude, this isn't so bad. Like I understand complaining about it to your coworkers about it. That's what I get. But they were like coming up to bosses. Oh, like, that I would never. That, do. Yeah, that I would never. Complain do. about it with your like coworkers or I would never like lodge a formal complaint or anything. Yeah, like, that. like well, I well, definitely because like, I'm fully remote. Yeah, like, I definitely whenever I have to go in the office, I have with my coworkers. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, this is a dope thing. I hate mm-hmm. I don't want to be here at all. Uh, yeah. I am. I am miserable. But yeah. but I still do my job. I got my job done. Mm-hmm. I'm not going. I'm not walking to my supervisor's office. It's like we need to talk. Yeah, like, I'm not this doing that. This is slave labor. This- <laughs> That's what they make it out to be. It's typing. I know. They're like, oh. I have to be here. Ugh. I don't, we don't do manual. Uh. Yeah. But anyways, so that's why I hated that kid. Cause that kid is like, he's like, eh, I'm so lucky. It's like, you're not lucky. You're lazy and dumb. Yeah. Um, you really are dumb. And then I did like the, and of one, course he had to be one of the creepers. Like I just, we all, I knew we were going to have uh, one. Like, why did we have to have a creeper go after Shinu, Shimu, Shimu. I gotta look over there. I, okay, look I, I don't know what it is. It's not Shinobu because that's ninja. That's a that's female ninja or something like that. But I was like, what is this? Um, I was like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, of course, of course, we had to have one of these, and they had to be so gross and oh. Yeah, his lips were huge. It was terrible. He was awful. He was literally the ugliest one out of the entire group. Um, it was so dumb. And then you had the other guy who was in like a loveless marriage, but I did like, um. Kanichiro there. Her name is Shinzuka. Shinzuka. 
Shizuka. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Kenichi, Ken, Kenichiro. Kenichiro there. When he's just like, he's like, have you done anything to no, like, yeah, yeah, to be a supportive life. husband? Yeah, no. Have you gotten her flowers once? <laughs> and the guy's like, like uh, uh, no, no, no. And then that absolute goat of a man jumping all like i i did not expect his move that he was coming with i, I was like it. oh boy i guess we're just gonna die naked to zombies and i was like oh no you're diving head first probably didn't have to go head first i don't know into a shit pit uh, that's probably that that's human shit too yeah. so i did like the way he was animated after oh that. they it blurred him completely like, it's like I like, oh. the, I like the girl i think her name was like Aunt angie a little girl yeah angie or something she's just like she's like don't talk to me again until you shower i <laughs> yeah, like i like that storyline too that was very that was good for nice. him yeah. when Comedy. she called oh, when she called him mr stano comic oh. and then it's and then you saw his become a stano comic oh, oh. there's a lot of heartwarming there's a lot of a lot of crossing up the listens episode i was <sighs> like nice oh yeah. my goodness um but he's got to save his dad oh that was so good oh that was that epic was... i did love like i don't know if the author just always wanted dreadlocks or something for some reason but i just like he randomly has dreadlocks he's like it's, it was... and you know what it makes total sense he was doing it because he's an idiot he wants yeah. to do all this stuff in the world he makes mm-hmm. total sense mm-hmm. i love when he put those on it was hilarious and when his dad told him it looked terrible i was oh, like that's, that's even better right. that's even better yeah, that was awesome because i do look bad <laughs> Also, I love that his like dad were like, "Oh my god, he's sick. He's dying." And I, first of all, it sounds like his family. And then she's like, "She's like, he has hemorrhoids." I was like, "Oh my, my god. god!" When they did that, I was like, "Oh my god!" And then his mom, like classic mom thing, like was blowing it out of proportion too. Yeah. It was like, she's "Oh like, my god!" He has god. a possibility of getting infection. Uh, uh, lethal? Uh, no, uh, not lethal. A lethal infection. Yeah, a lethal mm-hmm. infection. And he's just like, uh... Oh, my God. And he won't get the surgery. I was like, man, first off, I will say this. I don't know how bad that possibly could feel. But the fact that is... Yeah, knock on wood, knock on wood. That's that, not wood. Ah, my legs hurry! Hurt hurry! Hurry! Ah, don't move everything! My legs hurt... Oh, oh no! no! Ah! We're not sponsored by them! Yuda! Ah! Who kind of sucks now anyways? Uh, we'll see in the next season. No, he's cool. He's cool. He's still cool. He's still cool. He's still cool. He's still cool. But, um... Is uh, what was I say? <laughs> You're just a mess. God. God, my legs are so sore. I don't care. Uh, keep it together, man. The studio. Uh, no, uh, I was gonna say is, but if they're so bad, they need surgery. I've never heard of anyone. I I don't know many people who've gotten hemorrhoids, but I've never heard of anyone needing surgery. So if they need surgery, I couldn't. Thing. I'm sorry. Like, I couldn't imagine how bad it would feel. So now, if, if when his dad was like. Oh no! And he's like felt his knees. Now I'm kind of being like, I mean, maybe, maybe, probably. Yeah, it's <laughs> if it's that bad, if it's yeah, that, it that bad, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, that was that hilarious. was hilarious. It was so good. Um, I really did enjoy it too. Like when his uh, his whole thing about like, I don't know, he was being, he was, just, he, was just, he was such a good dad at the end of the day. I really liked him yeah, a lot. Um, and especially was like, you know, don't come out of that house. Um, or like, don't let me, don't like let me see my son die in front of me. God, you had to hit the table one time. I had this perfect. There you go. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. It was just, it was very heartfelt. You could bring you into mm-hmm. tears a little bit. And the kid just wanted to, uh, you know, repay his parents yeah. and all that stuff. So I was like, ah, oh, super nice. A couple morbid things though. When he was talking about, uh, you know, pretty much like when his dad was dying, he was like talking to his mom about like, oh, I'll remember you guys when you're like in the grave or something like that. You're like, there's some conversation like that. I was like, okay, yeah. you don't really need to say that, yeah, buddy. No, you know, yeah. I think they got the picture. You don't mm-hmm. have to, you don't have to tell them that you don't have to keep rubbing it in. They're old. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> I will say though. So the main villain there, he or whatever his name was, uh, I was always like, this kid sucks. He's just like an emo kid that doesn't like to see other people happy because he's a loser mm-hmm. and all this kind of stuff. All true. All, what? All true. All true. And then I was like, but that's like his biggest play. And then, you know, he releases all zombies. I was like, wow, this kid's a horrible person. Yes. They threw dynamite. And I was like, this kid's a horrible person. Yeah. And then he said, he's like, grabs Akira's dad and it was like, I'm going to kill him. But I won't if you turn yourself into a zombie in front of me. I'm like, dude, you got problems. <laughs> all because that kid smiled at you one uh, time invited, in college invited, invited, invited him out yeah. he invited him to out eat food with them oh my god that was so annoying i was like the entire time i was just like fuck this kid this kid sucks he is an absolute piece of crap i love like the dual storyline between like you know mm. the parallel storyline between him and akira like you know he sucks and akira's great and yeah. they have both of these bucket lists it's awesome um but this kid really sucks 
And despite all of that, I felt really bad for him at the end of the episode. I know, I didn't want to. I felt to. so I bad. I didn't want to. I, it's Akira's fault. It's Akira's <laughs> fault. It's Akira's fucking fault. fault. Yeah. Because he had to go over there and hug him and talk about, I'll go swimming with you and all this stuff. Why don't you look happy when you're doing all this stuff? It's like, don't do this to me. I want to hate this kid. <laughs> this kid sucks. I'm so He's glad you so felt bad. exactly the same way. I was like, I was like, no, Max, don't feel bad for this I kid. Know. This kid is the worst. He's evil. He's actively <laughs> like, evil. Killing he killed people. people. Yeah, he, he killed got, many he got, people. Yeah, yes, he did. He got people killed. It was horrible. Mm. Oh, but, but God damn it, I felt bad. I know. I well, wanted him to go swimming with Kira so bad. I know. And at the end, that was a, it, oh. it was a nice scene. It, it was like, a great scene. It was a great scene. And he did like not, it's not redeeming him, but he did. No, 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 no. He did only because of the great Akira main hug. character of anime show and style. This isn't a show and anime, but he I has know. the same the gold heart, the heart that none of us could possibly have, the closest yeah, right. heart that you could get to Jesus. And this kid literally is like, I forget. And I'll swim with you in the end. Yeah, when I become a zombie or something like that. Which made him turn good. Um, but, yeah, I didn't want to feel bad. I, I was like, no, this kid sucks. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, yeah. And the, the scene where he's like, he's like running to the pool and then he's like by himself and Akira's not there yet. And he's like, and he's like little conversion. I was like, oh. yeah, I know. And then Akira was there. And I was like, yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, that hits you right in the gut it too. It's like, oh. Damn, it yeah. wasn't Kira's fault. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. It's hundred percent his fault. Yeah. I was fine with that kid turning into a zombie. When he fell down and got bit, I was like, poetic justice. And then Kira hugged yeah. him. I was like, no! Yeah. Also, I think no. whose fault it is, too, is um, the voice actor for that villain is, I think, the same voice actor does Shigaraki. Yeah! Oh, God, that's what that was. How I much, knew I recognized How much it. does that guy get paid to cry? I know. <laughs> and scream cry and all that yeah. stuff. All of his characters do it. <laughs> and they do, yeah, they do. They all have and that they, scratchy they do it evil well. Scream. Yeah, they like, do it really well. Well, it's like, it sounds like a, such like a... It fits the character perfectly. It sounds like a, like a a boy who needs help cry. Like, who's like just breaking down. Yeah. And you, like, you just want to help him because like, they're like a child. And, yeah. Because like, he like yeah. never grew up. And I'm like, yeah. and then Akira comes over and grabs his shoulder. I was like, damn it, Akira, you're so cool. Akira is a great character. He's so awesome, dude. When they, in the in the second episode where they opened with him fighting the zombies and the music started playing too, I was like, I wanted this so bad. This is so awesome. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I thought it was so cool. I love um, when Akira's like when they're all together and like, all right, B- Beatrix is like, I'm gonna go, you know, break the wheel so we can stop electricity or whatever. And they're like, and Akira's like, I'm gonna go save my family. <laughs> um, uh, whatever her name is, the main, uh, main girl. I already forgot it, but she's like... Shizuku. She, yeah, Shizuku. She's like, she's like. well, that's not exactly what we were saying about the plan, but that sounds like you. Yeah, okay. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, props to B. That riding the wheel thing was that hilarious. Was awesome. I was like, hi, I can't stop this. Get out of the way. <laughs> I love the bridge scene, too, because like... I forgot just, about that guy, too. That guy's awesome. That guy's, uh, that guy, that guy's super cool. Oh. And then I just love when uh, Kenichiro and uh, Akira smack into the thing. And they're just like... <laughs> Oh, that hurts so much. Uh, I'm in pain. And then when his dad's like, I'm proud of you. Oh. I was like. Oh. 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 I also really enjoy the scene where they're all running uh, in the bucket list. Mm-hmm. And his parents are just like watching. Just like these like, idiots. These kids. These, these, these kids. These, these kids. kids. Like these kids. These idiots. Kids. And that was a great scene. Oh. Uh, the show is so great. That's what's so great about the show. It's got cool animation. The fighting's awesome. The four main characters are all This is a great quad. And like I don't know, it's just like heartwarming, but like fun. Yeah, you know, it's just, it checks all the boxes. It you know? really does. I it's really hope good. it comes back. Me too. I've only set up for a second season. I think they have. Clearly, I, it's popular. It's it must be super popular. Yeah. I just think that they're. I think they just had. Then they had production issues, and then stuff happened. There was you know there was. I know there was times in Japan where it kept getting moved around because stuff was premiering mm. um, on like the Japanese TV, television schedule. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping next time around they like don't have production issues and they can get mm-hmm. this season two off like off the ground. I'll look into it. I, I this got to be they got to be in the works for it because it it's so popular. It's so, it's it seems so popular. Super popular. I mean yeah. Netflix already has a already has a live action Japanese but live action movie. They got like, that out fast. Too. They got that out fast. Yeah. So it's like clearly like this is very popular and it's like honestly like it's kind of like crappy. In the U.S., like, people do complain, like, oh, we work so hard. We are not worked as hard as close to that. Cool. But it is really probably not great when you're working at, like, a an animation studio that's pushing you to the bone. Like, what it seems like was happening with them. Yeah. And MAPPA. And you're writing a story about a kid who was being pushed to the bone. Yeah. And then those, now is free and can do whatever he Sounds wants. Sounds like a cry for help. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, I'm saying it just what sucks for those yeah, animators. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like. And oh. this is the scene where he runs out and he's so happy he doesn't have to work anymore. Yep. Oh, he throws his tie away? Yeah. Oh. I just slept here for the past two nights. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Sick. Awesome. Cool. I wonder, though. Uh. I don't. 
I would really like. It's hard to like get an actual glimpse of like what happens in other countries like politically because mm-hmm. we all view it for the like the lens of a, you know, a U.S. citizen. It's us, yeah. Yeah. So I wonder like how with the whole thing with Mappa and the animators like how that actually will like affect like working laws and yeah. Japan. I'm really curious about that. I would love to see and like if I want I want I would love to see if there's like a you know writer strike. It'd be terrible. But if they I had an know, actual I, writer strike over there, but I don't know if they could. That's like that's the thing. It's like I don't know if they yeah. could get away with it. Like we can here where because their work ethic is so much different than their work ethic is different. And I'm like, generalizing by the way, I have no real idea. Well, it's just like clearly like they have to like. There's just something different there that, like, maybe it's an honor mentality or something. Like, they're like, we have to work. Like, mm. you just have to. And, like, we're here, you know, people, a bunch of people in Hollywood can be like, oh, I wore a dress for 18 hours. And, uh, oh, my oh, life is so miserable. I'm a rich oh, celebrity. Yes. Um, what was me? But, uh, so I wonder if, like, that will affect anything. Oh, all I know is there will be a time frame where, um, we, including well, pretty much everywhere, the probably the next, like, 30 years, not to get crazy, but, like, off of topic, but, uh, this is a wild prediction. We're going to write this one down. Keep uh, this one in the vault. 30, like, 40 years, like, the population is going to be so small that workers will probably have more say than um, businesses. Because businesses will be so in demand of work that workers will have, like, more say. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about that. So, and well, Japan is having that problem heavily. Like, reproduction. Like, the reproduction is mm, They got a lot of what bad. they called, uh, it's what the kid was, he was a neat. 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 Yeah. It's bad in Japan. Like, real bad in Japan. So, I'm like, and of course... Hey, Japan, I'll help repopulate. My, my, <laughs> Send me a <laughs> Japanese girl. <laughs> I'll be your Abraham. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. But, uh, but, but of course, my first thought when people talk about it, it's like, it's a real problem. Like, the population issue. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, yeah, Japan's like really bad. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my first thought, I'm like, uh, will that affect anime? Yeah, <laughs> I feel bad about that, but not that bad. I don't, um, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I know. I know. And like, listen, if... Our population goes down, and our military goes down, and then people are like, oh, no, like, th- their main thing to help the world, like, mm. the U.S. can't protect us or something. And then if Japan's go down, their main product for me is anime. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I that don't care about true. Uh, guys, electronics. And rice. Yeah, rice. Does it come out of Japan? Japan, like the uh, Asian area. Does our rice come out of Japan, or is it not made here? A lot of our rice does, yeah. Hmm. That's why there was like, once again, the news blinders are like, there's going to be a rice shortage. Because uh, there was like happened. a monsoon or something or something happened. Weather happened. We still have plenty of rice. Though. Yeah, yeah. But hope it does affect the vote. Zom 100 was really good. Yeah, what um, a first season. I'm we, saying first. It better come back. It better come back. Uh, we could, we want to rank it or do we only save it for the big boys? Uh, you know what? It's special in my heart. Let's it is it. pretty special. Let's rank it. And, you know, they, they went through so much trial and tribulation this year. I think they deserve a ranking. Uh, it's, you know, it's a number nine for me, honestly. Um, that's pretty, that's pretty generous for our first season of anime, but. We're making just the seasons. So. I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, <clears throat> especially if I, when I put JJK as a 10, but there's a threshold there. Um. I mean, that's a huge difference. I know, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's like, that's usually I could put this as like 8.5 or something like that, but there wasn't, there wasn't an episode where I wasn't laughing my ass off where mm-hmm. I didn't love the main characters. The, my, I remember just watching the show and I was like when do we get the entire crew? Yeah. That's all I want to see is the entire crew. And when they finally also dropped their um, opening, it was so dope. Like when they finally stopped just doing the, oh, we're going to show last episode and stuff because yeah. we don't have time to animate it. It was awesome. You know what's funny? I've still, I rewatched it a few times like in the last couple weeks. It's so good. You know what's funny is the name of the opening and I was a little, I wonder, kind of boom. I wonder if they did this on purpose. Uh, remember the girl who does the makeup part? Oh, by the way, we didn't mention that scene. That was an awesome scene. Yeah, like, yeah like, zombie, like, zombie. Him, yeah. that was cool. Uh, they did, they did all that all that really fast. <laughs> I don't know how, but what's the context? Uh, who knows? <laughs> the girl's yeah. out she's suspending the some some belief yeah. there. But uh, is uh, the song of the opening is called "Song of the Dead," mm-hmm. and uh, that was the movie that she was working on. Oh, that's dead. funny. That's funny. Yeah. So I like I thought, that. I, I dig that. that was really I dig cool. that. I dig that. Uh, so, yeah, it's a nine for me. Yeah, I'll give it like a like an eight point eight. Um, I think, I mean, like you said, uh, pretty much every episode is good. Yeah, just all around good. We've been getting a lot of anime that are like that, which is really nice, where it's just every episode hits. Um, I'm trying to think of an episode of this I didn't enjoy, but it just didn't happen. No, I enjoyed pretty much every episode. I think it was like these last three episodes were just bittersweet because I just didn't want it to end. I know, yeah. That was and and they ended it so well, like just setting it up for the future of like, oh, look at all this fun stuff. Yeah, like all these like so- stories we get into yeah, and yeah. all this stuff. Like, and all the they're going to a U.S. military yeah. base. Like, oh my God, we didn't talk about, yeah, they were just sightseeing at the end there. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're going to cure the world. Does it feel like we're just sightseeing? Yes. <laughs> and they're totally fine with that. Yep. I, uh... 
You know, it's also, it's also one of those things where it's like, and we talk, I talk about it every now and again when we have really good characters like this, but man, it is just good to see positive, heartwarming characters. It really you is. You know, it just makes it feel really good. When you're watching, I don't know, the amount of media I consume and shit and the amount of, like, uh, TV shows I watch. Like, you know, you watch The Boys and I'm just like, oh, this is depressing. Or you watch mm. almost anything on Star Wars these days or anything, <laughs> uh, pretty much, you know, any dark anime. You're just like, oh, man, the world sucks and yeah. all this blah, 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 blah. And then you get a Kira where the world actually sucks in Zom 100. And this kid rules. He's a he is just a, a shiny. He had... Too bad. Oh my god! I was great. The two episodes where he like ran to his old boss and he heard himself frustrated. Oh that episode. my god! And then yeah. he just comes back. And he's awesome. And it's like, yeah, those episodes were so uh, frustrating. Amazing. Yeah, they were. Uh, they, they made the show made you feel things. But, it's but like good. It's but that, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it made you feel things. Yeah, it's like, it, um, yeah, such a dichotomy is like you know like Jujutsu Kaisen, which is absolutely amazing anime of the year, but it's so <laughs> it's so <laughs> dark <laughs> and dark. It's and terrible. then like you know you go to Zombie One Hundred, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, alrighty, happy go lucky fun time. Uh, but Zombie's broken, but he's here. We're good. Everything's fine. I think like you know like that frustrating thing is like, it's like uh, so the ending of Attack on Titan when the manga was coming out, whatever. The guy who wrote, it, I can't remember his name. He said he's like, oh, people aren't gonna like the ending. Um, and some people like use that as an excuse. Like he said, people weren't going to like the ending. So it means like, it's going to make you feel a certain way. I'm like, no, no, that's bad. Just cause I don't yeah. like that. Jiraiya died. Yeah. That hurt. Mm -hmm. I didn't like Akira being pushed around by his boss. That was making me mad, but it's good storytelling. Yes. It's like, I like it for the overall story. Just cause uh, it's just because the author predicted his ending was a piece of shit yeah, doesn't yeah, mean yeah. it's not a piece of shit. Yeah, like, no, yeah, I don't, yeah. like, don't, that's, that's not like, a valid way to back it up, you idiots. Yeah, that's like me putting, like, a, uh, like a thousand pounds of sugar into, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's but like, some, it's like, like me going to coffee. McDonald's every day and saying, I'm going to get fat from this. Uh, or or it's, like, it's like if you were given, like, a coffee and someone just put, like, po like you know, 100% bitter in it. <laughs> and they're, like, they knew it was going to taste like crap and they're, like... This isn't going to taste good. And then you drank it. Like, this didn't taste good. And they're like, but I said it wasn't. Yeah. Duh. Duh. So, therefore, it is good. Exactly. But Zombie 100 was amazing. It was a, such a good name. Um, Can't wait for yeah. it. Yeah. And we got, I think I think, I think think we have, what, Soul Leveling, Demon Slayer. Mashal might be returning. I gotta, look, in, I gotta look into that. There's but, a, actually. But I, Demon Slayer is not until February. I actually, I really, I think I might do some grinding. Actually, end of February. I might do some grinding on some animes, because there's been a lot, like, people are talking about a lot of ones, and I'm like, man, that sounds good, I really, that sounds good. We really good. should, we, all, we should look into, like, the schedule of it, but we should watch that elf one, the mm -hmm. Farvrin that everyone's talking about. Our friend Sean was talking about it, my friend Ben last night talked, yeah, about, talked about it. About it. Also, gotta, I also want to watch, like, Undead Unluck, like, everyone's saying, like, everyone's saying, like, and I, I watched the opening for that, that opening is awesome. Really? Nice. It is awesome. I'm checking out, um... Once again, you should definitely finish Tokyo Revengers. We should, oh, we should review that season. Yeah, it's really, it was a really, really good really season. Do, yeah. Really good. Um, and then... That should be dubbed by now. I could do it. Oh, it's totally, I yeah, totally easily yeah, watch yeah. Who's got most of it done, I think. Um, and then... Um, also, it was like... We, I, we're way too late to, re to review this. And sadly, it was on High Dive. It just made it to Hulu. Made Evidence in the Shadow. Oh, no. No, in Made in this is still not there. Yeah. I know. I'm frustrated. Evidence in the Shadow is hilarious. Um, it's a very good... It's very, it's very just like... It's an isekai, so he's like, ah, and he's like classic, like I'm super strong, but like, it's just funny. Okay, it's just yeah, a really yeah. funny thing going on. Yeah, it's a classic. It's just it's classic. On, what's to it on? It's on Hulu right now. Okay, okay that okay. and um, as a Rodney Girls in Dungeon season four. Yeah, I think I, 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 but I really, that was okay. I feel like I just want to watch. I not a New Year's resolution, but I feel like this year I, I want to watch more anime. Yeah, like why not? because there's like so many good animes that like I'm just like I'm like oh, like when people are talking about like. Good, good anime. It's not like when people are like, oh, the new B stars. I don't give a crap about that. Ooh. But when they're talking about like that, and I'm like, man, that sounds really cool. Yeah. Why don't I watch it? It's it, it's it's capable. It's for me my fingers. <laughs> I, I can view it. I should be watching this. So like, I want to watch more this year. Yeah. But stick idea. to the big guns. You know, stick to the big guns. But of course, oh yeah, we got reviews to do, man. Yep. But thank you, Normal Nerd Nation, for listening and maybe even watching another podcast episode. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, and Instagram. Davis is always posting hilarious memes on there. Also, like and subscribe while you're at it. And leave a rating if you have some time. It helps people find the show.